are, and I've been playing softball for about two and a half years. Today I will show you some of my tips when I want to play softball at home. At home, when I want to do batting practice, I get my supplies first. My net, my tee, my ball, the plate, and my bat. The first thing I do is get my feet lined up. I get my my front foot lined up with the top of the plate and my back foot shoulder width apart. I like to bend my knees to get athletic. I get my hands behind my ear and my and my elbows up and I like to step so when I so when I drop my elbows and snap my hips, it's more powerful. It looks something like this. I, when I want to do catching and throwing, I usually grab my dad or my brother to help me. And there's three types that I like to do. The first one is grounder, and I get my glove on the ground and get alligator hand. Second thing is that I step forward um, and get sideways and point my elbow where I want to throw it. It looks something like this. The second one is 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 right it's direct throwing. I get my glove like this, I hold on to it and I squeeze so it doesn't pop out, so it doesn't point out. I I usually after when I do that, I get sideways, point my elbow where I want to throw it, and it looks something like this. This is the last one I like to do. It is pop-ups. I usually get my glove above my head, hold on to it, and the reason why I want to have my glove up there is because I don't want it to hit my head or hit my face. And even though I have my face mask on, I still don't want to get injured, the risk of getting injured. The reason why I don't do this is because it can hit my tummy or my chest, or roll out. It looks something like this. I hope these tips helped you as the way they helped me. Come on, let's go play some softball.